Dracaris. Game of Thrones cast then, 2011, and now, 2022. Game of Thrones has gained worldwide popularity and emerged as one of the mega-hit television series of all time, with its breathtaking violence, craze for vengeance, and savory nude scenes. The series stole the attention of an unprecedented number of viewers. One of the major attractions of the series has been its cast. As the show progressed, we also got to see the characters growing in depth and dimensions. There is a stark difference in the cast between the HBO series and the prequel, being streamed on HBO Go. This video is a reflection of the Game of Thrones original cast, how they were during the debut season, and how their current dispositions are. Emilia Clark, Labeled as one of the author's finest creations by the New York Times, Emilia Clark's roleplay as Daenerys Targaryen has brought her huge fame. At only 23, Emilia was cast as Daenerys, a shy, timid girl living with her brother who later emerges as a fierce, fearless, and a fantastic ruler. The way Emilia got into the skin of the character impressed us all and got her nominated for several prominent awards. What's up with Emilia Clark after 11 years? Seems like Emily still has a lot to achieve. Alongside working passionately for her charity project Same You, the actress has signed some major deals. Her Marvel debut, which is to be released in spring 2023, at Disney Plus is much awaited. Turning 35, the actress is single now, after her last relationship with Charlie McDowell. She will appear in Secret Invasion and is most expected to play the role of Skrull Giga, which has already got the fans excited. Sophie Turner The then 15-year-old actress depicted her excellent talent by playing the character of Sansa Stark. We witnessed the gradual growth of her character, who was born and raised in Winterfell and ended up becoming the Lady of Winterfell. She had a very harsh life ever since her father Ned Stark died, which completely changed her pursuits from painting and sewing to politics and conspiracy. She had a horrible married life which made her swing from one man to another. Now the actress has turned 26 and states how playing Sansa Stark Stark changed her life. She revealed that playing the hard character at a young age caused her trauma, which she's still dealing with. The celebrity married Joe Jonas in 2019, whom she started dating in 2016. The couple welcomed the baby girl in 2020. Exploring her true interest, the bold actress is now starring in the murder mystery The Staircase. Kit Harrington. The star gained wide acclaim for playing the controversial character of Jon Snow, who was a bastard son of Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen. The then 24-year-old actor received many awards for his excellent acting in GOT. We see his character struggling and stuck in several battles, however it is all worth it as he is announced as the King of the North in the end. From a humiliated, frustrated wrongborn, he becomes a ruler. This year, the actor turned 35 and is in a happy marriage with Rose Leslie. The couple also became parents in February 2021 to a baby boy. After GOT, he pulled a big one by playing the character of Milo in the 2014 movie Pompeii. He was cast as Dane Whitman, the Black Knight in Eternals, which released last year. His talent and luck got him further Marvel projects. The roles are kept secret for now, but there is a high probability that he will appear in Blade. Maisie Williams Starting at the age of 12, Maisie Williams played the character of Arya Stark. At such a young age, she amazed everyone with her solemn performance. We saw her character going through a lot of trauma, including the killing of her entire family. All these events made her bold, arrogant, and fearless. Maisie successfully played the challenging role. Now in 2022, the English actress has turned 25 and is occupied with tons of both minor and major projects. Recently, it has come to our knowledge that she will be appearing in Sinner v. Saints. She has also signed a period drama for Apple TV+. Seems like the gorgeous actress is about to make a fortune. Her relationship is also soaring high. She is dating Ollie Jackson, with whom she started going out in 2015. We wish the couple happy years ahead. Lena Headey Cersei Lannister is one of the strongest characters of GOT, played by none but Lena Headey. The then 37-year-old actress totally nailed her role. Her character left the audience in a dilemma whether to hate or love her passion to protect her family. She also got nominated for multiple awards for her excellent portrayal of the antagonist. At the beginning of the show, she was married to Peter Lawgren. In 2022, the actress has turned 48 and is a mother of two kids, one from her ex-husband Peter and the other from Dan Caden. After delivering a mind-blowing performance in GOT, the actress engaged herself as a voiceover artist for several animated projects. We can get to hear her voice in Infinity Train, Master of the Universe Revelation, and also in the smash hit DC League of Super Pets. Lena's luck didn't go well with her partners, from both of whom she got separated. 
Jason Momoa. The 32-year-old actor became a sensation after his short performance as Khal Drogo in GOT. The actor only appeared in one season but made his presence felt. Drogo's marriage to a much younger girl left the audience guessing as to what would follow next. Initially, he was rude and insensitive towards her, but as the season progressed, we see him losing his warrior attitude and getting kinder towards her. His look was very intense, almost scary. In all the episodes, he appeared. Now, as the GOT has finished airing, Jason Momoa is doing some blockbuster movies, one of them being Aquaman. It is in the news that he is to appear in the sequel as well, which is to be released on the 25th of December 2023. The 43-year-old star was married to Lisa Bonnet for 5 years after having a relationship of 12 years. Even after being 17 years together, the couple broke to us the sad news about their divorce in January 2022. Natalie Dormer. The 24-year-old actress played the character of Marjorie Tyrell, the fair maiden from High Garden. You might not be able to grasp her cleverness at once, however, as her screen time enhances, we come to see what her true motives are. She's not after wealth, but the whole kingdom. In the show, we see her marrying Joffrey and then his brother Talman. However, this lust for power doesn't last long as she meets her doomed fate. Now, the 35-year-old Natalie is to appear shortly in the thriller movie The Wasp. The gorgeous actor has been seeing David Oakes since 2018 and they are getting along well. She also became a mother to a daughter in January 2021. After GOT, she gave some major hits like The Forest, Penny Dreadful, City of Angels, and more. The actress also has many awards credited to her name. Peter Dinklage. The 41-year-old celebrity played the iconic role of Tyrion Lannister, the imp who struggled most of his life to be accepted by his family. His dwarfism and his mother's death while birthing him led to this family scorning him as an abomination. After being deceived by his own father, the infamous Tywin Lannister, and Cersei, his sister, he switched sides and rose to power. You'll get to see him as Lord of Casterly Rock. The actor has turned 53 this year and is happily married to Erica Schmidt. They also have two kids together. The the actor has been awarded for his spectacular performance in GOT, besides being a very popular voice artist dubbing from prominent films like Ice Age, Continental Drift, and The Angry Birds movie. Dinklage has also featured in powerful roles in acclaimed movies like State of Mind and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, after performing in super hits like Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. The actor will be working in the animated series Rick and Morty. Rose Leslie The 24-year-old Rose Leslie is known for playing the role of Igrit and her romance with Jon Snow. The character is strung between her loyalty to her group and her lover, who belongs to their enemies. After falling deeply in love, she meets her demise in a battle. Now the actress has turned 35 and is married to Kit Harington, her co-star and lover in GOT. Surprisingly, they turned out to be lovers in real life. Married in 2018, the couple welcomed their first baby boy in 2021. After her performance in GOT, the actress appeared in movies like The Last Witch Hunter, The Time Traveler's Wife, and Death on Denial. Richard Madden Richard Madden, at the age of 24, performed the character of Rob Stark, a 10-on-10 character who passed away too soon in the series. He had all the qualities that made him an obedient son responsibility, pragmatism, and eagerness to be there for his family always. But to our dismay, he was a short-lived character. He was nominated for Screen Actors Guild Awards as well for his performance in GOT. The actor has turned 36 and has delivered some of his best performances meanwhile. After appearing in major projects like Cinderella, Rocketman, and Lady Chatterley's Lover, now he is to be seen in Marvel's Eternals as Icarus, a character with a lifespan of a thousand years. This sure sounds like a piece of good news for the fans as well as for Richard. There's no credible information available for Madden's private relations now. He has been acknowledged by Time Magazine on the list of the 100 most influential people. Pedro Pascal Pedro Pascal had his first appearance in GOT in Season 4 when he played Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper of Dorne. He played a role when he was 39 years old and his minor yet impactful appearance got appreciated for his passion for vengeance. Now, 48 years old, Pascal has acted in several movies. We got to see him in hit movies like The Equalizer 2, Triple Frontier, and Wonder Woman 1984. He has been a part of various minor and major television productions as well. The actor has managed to keep his personal life completely discreet. We do know that Pedro is a huge supporter of the LGBTQ plus community. It has been revealed that he was intensely supportive when his sister opened up to him as a transgender. Talking about his upcoming films, he is expected to be seen in a strange way of life soon. 
Jack Gleason. Jack Gleason was chosen to play the character of Joffrey Baratheon, who was a progeny of incest. He succeeded in becoming one of the evilest characters in television history. A real sadist for his age, he tortured our favorite character in the show, making it almost impossible for us to bear. A psychopath who loved to see others in pain, he took advantage of his royalty and had a mad craze for power. He'd go to any lengths to gain more control and torment others. He was only 18 when he delivered his outstanding performance in GOT, but now the celebrity has turned 29 and is married to Royzen O'Mahony, whom he has been dating for a while. His exile from acting has finally come to an end and the star is to be seen in two huge projects, to be a machine in a television series out of her mind. Nikolai Kostowalda Nikolai Kostowalda has been seen in GOT as Jamie Lannister. His character became the talk of the show because of his incest with his sister Cersei, which led to the birth of three bastard kids. Popularly, he was called the Kingslayer. His impressive performance at the age of 41 got him nominated for various awards and he finally won the Empire Hero Award. The actor is 52 years old now and has delivered many entertaining films like Against the Ice, A Taste of Hunger, and others. The star is engaged in a movie called God is a Bullet. The star is in a successful marriage with Nagaga since 1997 and has a happy family with two daughters who are well settled now. It is known to all that he is very close with his two dogs. Natalie Emanuel Natalie Emanuel appeared in GOT at the age of 24 as Miss Sande. She was a maid-come companion to Daenerys Targaryen. Though she didn't hold much power, her character kept on becoming stronger and more significant throughout the series. However, there was no happy ending for her. She was killed by Cersei in arrogance. Throughout her life, she was loyal to her master-come friend Daenerys. The actress has turned 33 now. She has managed to keep her private life discreet, leaving no trace for us. However, her career is following a possible Graph. After appearing in GOT, she was also seen in other movies and has bagged some major projects now, including Fast X, set to be released in 2023. Isaac Hempstead At the mere age of 11, Isaac Hempstead was cast as Bran Stark, the fourth child of the Stark family. He spends his life in Winterfell at such a young age. He played his character exceptionally well. It was he who caught Cersei and Jaime, indulging in an incestual relationship. In the end, we see him emerging as the true owner of the throne. His character has been through ups and downs as well. But he stood strong all throughout. He won the Best Young Actor Award for his performance in GOT. Isaac has turned 22 this year. The actor has been in the film industry all the while completing his education at the University of Birmingham. He graduated in neuroscience from University College London. The last film he appeared in was Voyagers in 2021. The actor currently is not engaged in any major project and not much is known about his personal life either.